My name is Dr. Katrine Wallace from University of Illinois, Chicago, and I'm here to answer your questions about the new COVID-19 bivalent booster. So the original vaccine and the original boosters that we're familiar with only included the vaccine that targeted the original virus that was circulating back in 2020. And as we know, the virus has mutated several times since then. The Omicron variant has mutated to the point where it's escaping the immunity provided by previous infection and by our vaccines. And it's also much more transmissible than previous variants. So at this point, it was thought that we needed to add elements of Omicron and specifically the Omicron sublineages BA4 and BA5 that are circulating now add those to the booster so that we have a little bit more protection going into the fall to try to fend off another winter surge. The CDC wants to move away from counting numbers of boosters and move towards just staying up to date with the most current boosters. So it's going to be more like the influenza program where every year we get an updated influenza vaccine using a platform that's very well known and very safe and we just add to that vaccine the current strains that are circulating to try to tamper down the infections in the community. So the influenza program is incredibly similar year over year they use the same technology and add different strains. And that's the same thing that's happening here. We're using the same RNA technology that's been given to billions of people up to this point and adding onto that the targets for two sublineages of the Omicron variant, which are causing so many infections right now. The FDA would like people to wait two months after their last COVID-19 booster or vaccination to get this bivalent booster. If you've had a COVID-19 illness, you can get it as soon, you can get the bivalent booster as soon as you're out of isolation, but you can even wait up to about three months. Um, yesterday, the CDC said before you want to get this one. So you could do either right out of isolation or anywhere up to three months. asking whether you should try to time the booster now or closer to a winter surge. I personally couldn't really tell people to wait because a lot of us are six months out of our last booster and we know that the booster efficacy does wane and we have a lot of COVID around right now in our community. So it's really to everybody's best interest to get vaccinated as soon as possible. But um, how long these will last and the duration of protection, we really don't know at this point. This bivalent booster will be replacing the previous versions of the booster in the United States. The other, we call the monovalent boosters, will no longer be authorized in the U.S. So, the series will now be the first two monovalent vaccines, and then the booster will be the bivalent vaccine right now, and that will be updated in subsequent years which, with whatever strain is circulating at that time. Millions of people at this point have had these mRNA vaccines, and they've been very well tolerated. We have the same mRNA platform in these bivalent boosters and just adding on targets for these two new sublineages of Omicron. So we don't really expect any new adverse events that we already don't know about from the billions of people that have already been followed up. We do recommend that everybody who is pregnant get the COVID-19 vaccine. We have lots of observational data now showing that there is no adverse effects on fertility, on pregnancy, or on pregnancy outcomes. The CDC actually issued a health alert for people that are pregnant 
because COVID-19 in pregnancy causes increased risk of all of those things, adverse pregnancy outcomes, stillbirth, and even um, health problems for the mother. So this is very important to keep in mind in the risk-benefit conversation with your doctor. You are able to do heterologous dosing, which means you can get a different vaccine for your bivalent booster than you got for your primary series, as long as your age requirements allow, because Pfizer has more age groups than Moderna. At this point, the bivalent booster is not available for anybody under the age of 12. However, in the next couple of months, there will be new data available and this will be available for them as well. However, only 30% of ages five through 11 are currently vaccinated and we need to have everybody get that primary series before they're eligible for their bivalent booster. So this is a really good time to have your child catch up on that primary series if they have not already or if because of the pandemic you've fallen behind on vaccinations. We saw that Walgreens was already scheduling these bivalent boosters, both Pfizer and Moderna, today in the Chicago area. And you can schedule those via their website or the app. And probably other places will be coming online shortly. So just a reminder that even though these new vaccines are thought to increase our protection against transmission, we do still need to use other protection layers because no one layer, no vaccine, no drug is 100% effective. We want to wear a nice well-fitting mask if we're in an indoor crowded space. We want to keep our distance from people and we want to you know, make sure that we are up to date on our vaccinations, but that's not the only layer we want to consider. There is still a lot of COVID around. We still have over 100,000 cases in the U.S. every day, and we still have over 500 people dying every day in the U.S. So we definitely have some work to be done. And we're hoping these vaccines help with that. But again, layering other mitigations on will help too.